hey guys good morning it's denise here and welcome back to another video and thank you so much for watching so in today's video i'm going to do a very simple design the inspiration came from pinterest and i'm going to pop the picture right here so you guys can see what i'm talking about i just personally added some rhinestones to it just to spice it up a little bit more and I also added a little bit of beadwork. Now, as you can see, I already prepped my nail and glued on my tips. The tips that I'm using are from a cart, which are my absolute favorite. My practice hand that I use is from Red Iguana in the color Liza. So moving on to the colors that I'm gonna be using for this set. First, I'm starting off with Miss Kelly Double D 124, which is the color that you see me applying here right now, and it's from and it's an Eye Gel Beauty powder. I actually don't go for these type of colors, but I thought I'd try something new today. It's a very pretty color. I actually did like how it turned out. It's not too green, it, and it's kind of more like a t darker teal kind of color. And I'm gonna be applying that one to the index finger and the pinky. I did want to mention that I purposely left this video in its real time speed. I didn't want to speed it up this time. I wanted you guys to see how fast or how slow I apply my application. I think I go pretty slow. I still haven't, you know, I guess gotten better at the whole speed thing. Um, I'm still trying to get my application down right. And in this video, you'll see that it's more cleaner. It's not as messy as in my like very first videos, I guess. And so yeah, I just wanted you guys to see how, how I actually do work. And then I'm using the three bead method. That's where it works for me. That's what I'm comfortable with. I tried doing the one bead and that just doesn't work for me. I can never seem to cover a full nail. Um, I've tried it and it's just not happening at this time. So keep practicing is what I keep telling myself, but yeah, we're just gonna stick with the three bead method as this time, at this time. And I am using my JC Beauty Concepts um, acrylic brush, which I love. It hasn't given me any issues since I started using it. It's 100% Kaliski. It's very lightweight. I can barely feel that I have it in my hand. And I'm using the um, Mia Secret Monomer. I think that's the only one that I've been using so far consistently. I like it. It seems like it works with every um, powder brand. I've tried the Young Nails one at the very beginning of when I first started doing nails, but it's just too pricey for me. So um, Mia Secret is just the one that's been working for me. So I'm obviously sitting here editing and doing this voiceover on this video and I just noticed that I didn't hop onto my pinky finger to apply the Miss Kelly, which is the green color why i don't know but we're moving on to the middle finger so for the middle finger i'm gonna be using satin ribbon double d 178 i actually like this color it's a really pretty nude a little um you know light brown color i like it so i'm gonna be doing this color on the two middle fingers and then i guess i move on to the pinky and do the green again which I could have just done it right after I did it on the index, really.
so like I mentioned earlier, I like to use the three bead method. So here you first see me apply that very first bead. And I normally put it right where the natural nail bit and the nail tip meet. And then I just try to, um, and then just work that acrylic powder down towards the free edge. And I always make sure that I swipe my sidewalls just to maintain that shape. And then that second bead, I put it right above that first bead and that helps me build up my apex, which is why I like um, doing the three bead method because it helps me out just a little bit. And then just, I'm again, I pat it down and I don't try to get too close to the cuticle. That's my, that's what my third bead is for. And then I, again, I'm just making sure that I clean up, try not to touch any skin per se, since I'm using my practice hand and then push in the side walls, make sure I'm maintaining my shape. And now I'm just applying that third bead. I try not to get too close to the cuticle. I wanna give myself enough space for me to push it up towards it. I try to, well, I try my best to avoid um, overflowing my cuticle because then you'll get some lifting and whatnot and i for my third bead i try to use it not as wet i try to get drier beads that helps me not overflow the cuticle and so now we're just going to finish up the pinky really quick and then we're going to move on to the design which is very simple So before moving on to the nail design, I am going to cap my nails with the clear powder, which is also from iGel Beauty. And I noticed, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think the clear powder was crystallizing. It was really cold that day, and I think that's what you call it when the powder looks... Well, you'll see it down the road. Well, down the road. A little bit further down the video. So I think that's what that is, but correct me if I'm wrong. So I thought it looked a little bit weird, and I don't know if I've seen it do that before. Maybe I just didn't realize it or didn't know what was going on, but I think that that's what that was. So I'm going to go ahead and just cap my nails really quick, and I'll just hop in right after.
okay guys so check it out here do you see well you do notice it more on the index and the pinky not so much the two but i think that's what crystallizing is right correct me if i'm wrong so yeah that's what i was doing like i said it was really cold so i guess that's what that is so now we're gonna move on to the filing i did purchase this bit it's a five in one cross cut bit i think it was and it's in fine and it's from not polished i see theo use it all the time in her videos i just don't know what grit she has it might be medium it might be fine i don't know but i thought i'd give it a try in this video and see how it works okay guys so i did go back and check one of theo's video and she actually uses the medium grit so boo i got the fine one but that just means i'm gonna have to buy another bit <laughs> which is fine with me but it's supposed to be a safety bit you're supposed to be able to go as close to the cuticle as possible and I'm also going to be using my Ideal Beauty nail drill that I purchased a while ago. And I did do a first impression and unboxing video. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll leave it in the cards for you guys. Okay, so for this nail drill, I actually love it. It's very lightweight. It's very, it has a thin handle, which I absolutely love. It's not bulky. My hands are small, so a thin one works per perfectly for me. Also, it's not so loud it doesn't the vibration is very low you can barely feel that it's in your hand which is actually pretty good for me because i have carpal tunnel so that strong vibration kind of makes my wrist hurt i guess you can say so the fact that this vibration is very low on this handle i absolutely love it but i did notice that when i'm not using it like if i stop filing the speed will slow down but if I start using it, the speed will like quickly pick, pick back up. I don't know if that's normal or not, but I mean, I didn't mind it at all. I actually thought it was pretty good that it kind of slows down and then it picks up speed once you're using it. So that's what I did notice. If you guys have this drill, let me know if that's something that you guys notice with your drill. But other than that, I absolutely love how it worked. I have no issues with it. So back to the filing, I usually like to start under the nail to make it straight and then go towards my sidewalls to taper in the sidewall so they be so they won't be so thick. I like to have my nail line up with my natural nail bed, those sidewalls. And then um, I just go around the cuticle and go up and down the nail just to remove any bulk or any lumps and bumps that I may have, you know, left during my application process. And um, I just like to check the nail side to side. I usually also pick it up towards me to look at it or to get a, a view of the client or a client view just to see what they see. And yeah, that's pretty much all I do. And then I go underneath the nail just to create that, clean it up a little bit and get a, a little C curve going. So now we're moving on to the shaping and the files that I've been using as of lately are from Sally's which I actually love. They're pretty good files. I'm um, It's a 180 grit file. I like to use the 100 to shape my nails. I try to keep the, the file as parallel to the nail as possible, as straight as possible just so I could get that nice crispy shape and then I like to go under the nail just to also get it as straight as possible. I then go towards the free edge make sure everything is nice and crispy. And then once I'm done filing with the 100 side, um, I usually go with the 180 um, over the nail just to get any leftover lumps and bumps. And after I'm done doing that, we're gonna go ahead and buff the nails.
all right so here we are my nails are all file shaped and buffed now we are going to move on to the nail design which is going to be very simple i'm going to be using these skull stickers that i believe i purchased from aliexpress if you are interested in these you can i'm sure you can find them on amazon or you can go to aliexpress and just enter um, gold nail stickers i believe and a whole bunch of them will come up so here i'm just taking that sticker and i'm placing it on the nail i am placing firmly down on it because i do want to make sure that it's laying flat on the nail it's not sticking up or anything like that and this nail sticker obviously didn't cover my whole nail so i do have to go back in with another little piece so i place the piece down and i make sure that i cut off the extra that's hanging off the nail you don't want anything hanging you know over the nail or the side of the nail because you don't want it to like lift or anything like that and you don't want your client picking at it you know if it's if it's hanging and i actually like using um nail stickers i think they're very easy to use very convenient at times if you're not like an artsy person or you don't know how to draw or do like any kind of intricate artwork on your nail i think these are very helpful but yeah i just applied it to the ring finger as well now i'm gonna go ahead and top coat it with the kiara sky top coat and then i'm gonna go ahead and cure for 60 seconds So now that I'm done with that, I'm going to go ahead and move on to my rhinestone application and I'm going to use this UV gel glue that I use all the time to apply my rhinestones along with this little brush. I like this one because it gives me the time to move around my rhinestones before putting it in the lamp to cure. So I'm just going to apply a little bit on the nail. I think I do it to the whole nail. And then once I apply it to the whole nail, I am going to do a very thin layer. I don't want it too bulky. I want it just thick enough for me to be able to sink in the rhinestones or beads or whatnot. And after I'm done applying the, um, the glue, I'm going to go ahead and apply my top coat. So once I'm done doing my rhinestone application and everything, I can go ahead and just pop it in the lamp to cure for 60 seconds. So now we're going to move on to the rhinestone application. The inspiration picture, as you guys saw, didn't have any rhinestones. I wanted to add a lot of them actually along with beads as well. And I only show you guys just a little clip because it actually did take me quite a while because I didn't know exactly how I wanted to place them, where I wanted them to go, and I kept moving them around and so and so on. So I just show you a little clip. Once I'm done with this little tiny clip, we're going to move on to the results. So here are the final results and I absolutely love them. My daughter actually called them Princess Jasmine nails, which I would actually agree with her. The colors and the beads and the gold kind of give me that Princess Jasmine vibe. So if you guys like this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Bye.